and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about confidence, how I got confident in myself and how I um, try to make other people feel confident in themselves. I think confidence is such a huge thing that everybody needs to have just because it changes your whole outlook on yourself as a person and just the way that you view other people and how you tackle life's obstacles. What is confidence? Confidence is believing in yourself, especially when nobody else does. I think confidence is proving to not only yourself, but everybody else, hey, look, I said I'm gonna do this thing and now I did it and I did it with confidence. Confidence meaning you did it with like the best of the best energy. You just feel good about yourself. Um, I just think confidence is a lot of things when it comes down to thinking about what the actual term is. I think confidence is just kind of proving to yourself, hey, I can do this, these things. Hey, I can go talk to that person. I can talk to that cute boy. I can make friends with these people. You gotta put yourself in a situation to allow yourself to build confidence. I don't think confidence is something that comes right away. It's not something that, I just think it's a learned practice. I don't think it's something that everybody has. I think some people have it more than other people because they choose to have it, they want it. They want to be confident within themselves. That's just the way that they carry themselves. And a lot of people, I think they misconstrued, like they misconstrued cockiness and confidence because they're kind of, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. Somebody can have a lot of confidence, but other some other person can perceive their confidence as cockiness. I know that's something that I had to struggle with growing up. A lot of people thought I was cocky. I might have been a little cocky every now and then, but I just know who I am as a person, who I am as a woman, who I am when I do certain things. I know how I want to be perceived and I know how I don't want to be perceived. And that's just kind of my confidence that I have within myself. So take it or leave it, I guess. <laughs> But I, I choose to take it because I love confidence. I love being a confident individual and I love helping other people feel confident about themselves and be confident in themselves. And there are a lot of ways to do that for yourself and other people. Confidence really is a lot of things. It's um, positiveness or positiveness, you could say both. It is, you know, being confident in yourself. It's being reliant on yourself. It's having a lot of nerve to do things that some people who lack confidence or self-confidence wouldn't do. It is, it's believing in yourself. It's having faith in yourself. It's doing things that put you out of your comfort zone. Confidence can take you from one place to another place. It can take you to places that you never thought that you would be in. It can take you into a relationship with a guy or girl, or it can take you into a friendship. Um, I think you have to have confidence in order to make moves in this life. You have to have confidence in order to get from um, you know, where you are to where you wanna be. <sighs> Never compare yourself to anybody else. The second you compare yourself to somebody else, it's gonna take away all the confidence that you've just built up for yourself because you're gonna be like, okay, well, I don't have this that that girl has or I don't have, you know, the best hair or whatever. You honestly just need to be strong in who you are and you always need to believe in yourself. Never compare. This is paramount. Something that I do that might seem a little bit crazy or kind of weird, every day in the morning, ew, it just looks like I picked my nose. Trust me, I didn't. But, <laughs> okay, every day in the morning, I tell myself I'm beautiful, I'm lovely, I'm perfect. And obviously, I know I'm not perfect, but if I tell myself that, I start to, you know, believe that, okay, there's, you know, there's things wrong with me, but... I don't have to choose to let them define who I am as a person and that like really boosts my self-confidence knowing that I feel beautiful, I am beautiful and I am lovely. How do you gain confidence within yourself? For me, I gain confidence by telling myself I'm beautiful, I'm lovely, I'm precious, I am special, you know, just little 
things about me that are good things, positive things, things that are going to make me feel like I actually am, you know, a confident individual and I actually do have some amazing qualities and characteristics about myself that I think. So if you're looking for ways to build your self-confidence, I'm going to encourage you to either write down a couple of things that you want to believe about yourself or, you know, you can just tell them to yourself by looking in the mirror when you're getting ready for work or ready for your day, whatever, just whenever you have a, a chance. It doesn't take long. It takes probably like two seconds to do. You're just telling yourself these things to give yourself some reassurance and validation about who you want to be as a person. And how do I build confidence in other people? For my friends, I definitely think I build confidence in them just with my energy and the way that I respond to things. I give them compliments. I tell them, you know, stuff that they don't want to hear but they need to hear and that will take them to the next level with whatever they're dealing with and especially their overall appearance. If they feel, you know, bad about themselves, I would definitely want to give them compliments and you know, tell them that the things that they're they're thinking are not true. They're completely false and negative and whatever. So just kind of um, the whole compliment aspect, I think, is a really great way of building confidence in other people and just kind of letting them know, hey, you need to build some serious self-confidence in yourself because it is lacking. And obviously you don't want to tell your friends stuff that isn't true because they're already believing the lies that they're telling themselves that are making them have that lower level of self-confidence. So it's your job as a friend to bring them out of that rut that they're in and build their confidence. Another way that you can build people's confidence is just encouraging them, motivating them, inspiring them, and showing them um, that there is a reason to feel confident there is a reason to feel confident about your appearance there's a reason to feel confident about the things that you're doing in your day-to-day -day life there's a reason to feel confident about wanting to try new things there's a reason to feel confident about everything really and i think that um because that's my outlook i want to give that same outlook to everybody I come in contact with and those people that are around me. So when was my defining moment where I knew that I was a confident individual? I would say I've known forever, I've known since like age 10 that I was a confident individual. Actually in gymnastics I was going to get kicked off the team because I was honestly a brat. Hard to believe, right? So yeah, I was a brat, I was not a nice girl, and I just thought I was the best at everything. Like, I just had that confidence that was kind of cocky, but I just thought I was the best at everything, and I thought I had to do the demonstrations because I was that confident in my skills when I was a 10-year-old gymnast, so... Yeah, that kind of stuck with me forever, stuck with me with everything. I know for a fact that when I was walking the halls in high school, I'd always have my earbuds in and I just like didn't want to deal with anybody because I'm like, okay, I'm going to get to this next class. I don't care, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, in high school, I would always be posting these statuses and I thought I was just so cool because I was getting so many likes and that really boosted my confidence that is another thing I think likes definitely boost our self-esteem they boost our confidence they make us feel like we're we're just good like we're pretty we're doing something right we're saying all the right things but honestly self-confidence cannot come from that because they just can't so next time you're like, oh my gosh, this photo or the status didn't get that many likes, just forget about it. Just forget about it. You don't let the world define you. Letting the world define you by the number or the amount of likes you get, that's just preposterous. <laughs> Honestly, it is not something that you want to let your life revolve around because if you do that, I can guarantee you, you're not going to feel confident in yourself and you're just going to let people control how you feel about yourself because really, people, they're the ones that like your stuff. And when you're not getting likes, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, like I suck. But just don't think that way. Just don't. Next time you don't feel confident about yourself, I want you to sit down, 
and just take a moment, breathe in and breathe out. And I just want you to tell yourself five things that you love about yourself. And I guarantee you this is going to help you. It is honestly so beautiful outside right now. This is Minnesota and we have like freaking piles of snow. It's freaking crazy. Tell yourself you're beautiful every day in the morning when you get up and look in the mirror and when you're getting ready, that's gonna help you build your confidence a million times. Believe what you say to yourself. Believe that you are beautiful. Believe that you are lovely. Believe that you are smart. Just start telling yourself all these positive things about yourself and I trust, like, just believe me, you are going to change. This is what our house looks like right now there is freaking snow up to probably past my height and i'm 5'2 so i'm pretty short but oh my gosh and honestly i'm not an expert on confidence by any means these are just the things that i have done for myself and my friends that have seemed to make a huge difference and i hope that you like this video and you will subscribe to my channel